Hey there, Avra here with Kami. Are you a Google Classroom user? Have you ever combined Google Classroom and Kami? Did you know that if you make a mistake on a Google Classroom assignment and it's a Kami assignment, you can quickly and easily change it? Push all the changes out to your students at one time. Let's take a look at the possibilities. One of the things that makes Kami special is the ability for teachers to take an average activity and bring it into the Kami environment and add scaffolds and supports for their students. So if you notice here on the right-hand side in the margin, this teacher has added voice and video comments. These were created right here in Kami without any additional tools needed. Additionally, this teacher has added a YouTube video to support students as they work through this assignment. Once the teacher has created these scaffolds, he or she can simply go to Google Classroom and create a Kami assignment. The Kami assignment offers a wide variety of additional features. Let's take a look. As teachers hit create and then choose Kami assignment, they'll be taken into an environment that is familiar to them. If they've used Google Classroom in the past, they know that they can simply create the assignment by adding the title and then heading to their Google Drive where they have the assignment stored. Once they bring it in, by default, Kami and Google Classroom will be making a copy for each student. There are additional supports that we can put in place for students by clicking on Feature Controls. Feature Controls allows teachers to choose which tools and features in Kami students have access to for each assignment. They can also choose from a list of support features. These can be the same each time by telling Kami to remember the options, or they can make it different each time, depending on the assignment. So at this point, what we'll do is go ahead and click Assign to create the assignment for students. Next, let's look at how easy it is for our students to be able to complete the assignment and submit it to their teacher. Now we're looking at a student view. Students simply click on the assignment as they normally would and select Open with Kami. This quickly and easily opens up the Kami assignment in a new tab, and students are able to interact with the activity. They can listen to their teacher's audio voice recordings, complete the questions below, or they can watch any of the videos that have been put here in the margin as well. It's important to note that we do have a full screen button so that students can watch the video at full screen. As students are working through the assignment, they can use any of the tools that the teacher has given them in order to complete the work. Let's explore a scenario in which a student is confused about one of the questions. He or she could use the comment tool to insert a comment Additionally, he or she could also ask questions verbally. I'm confused about this question. So there are lots of options in terms of students and teachers being able to communicate as students are working through the assignment. Now, one of the really neat things about Google Classroom is that if many students are confused about a certain question, teachers can actually give real-time feedback and support to students. Let's take a look. As students are working, teachers can see things live in Google Classroom as they're working. They can listen or read any comments that are left for them. Additionally, when you use Kami and Google Classroom together, teachers also have the option to be able to push mass feedback out to an entire group. So let's say that many students are having trouble with this question here. Teachers can simply go back to their Google Classroom assignment, and instead of choosing Open with Kami as students would, they can click here on the PDF. As they do this, what they'll notice is up in the top right corner, there's an Update Work button. This Update Work button allows teachers access to the template file. The template file is the file that all of the students' assignments are based on. So, for example, if teachers had explained something in this voice comment right here and it's confusing the class, they could simply make a change to this assignment by deleting that. Then, after deleting the confusing question, they could go over to another website or resource of some sort and get some more information for students. 
Then they might decide to add a text comment with that link. They could also, of course, use the voice comment to explain this additional resource. Hey friends, so a lot of you are getting confused about the second question. Please use the link below for more information. When they're done, adding or deleting or changing this assignment in any way, all they have to do is go up to where it says publish changes. When they publish changes, all of these changes will get pushed out to all of the students work. Student work will not be lost or changed. This happens in real time. So you can see now we've got additional comments up here from the teacher and that way students can continue to work through the process of doing their assignment. When students have completed their work, all they have to do is go up to the top right and select turn in. This drops down a menu that gives them a turn in button. They never have to return to Google Classroom to turn their work in. It happens right here in Kami. And we'll see that confetti animation pop up as a visual cue. Students are now done. So let's take a look at what it looks like for teachers to be able to take a look at student work. The first way is simply to click and hop in to this assignment. And you'll see that Kami exists here in the Google Classroom grader. So teachers have full access to all of the tools, including markup tools and commenting tools, as well as fun things like stickers as a way to give students some feedback. Another way is to choose class view. The class view button exists right here in the Google Classroom grader. It also exists out here in Google Classroom. The button is right here. When we select this button, Google Classroom and Kami work together to take all of the students' assignments and put them side by side on one Kami page. It's important to note that you can still do all of the grading and the normal things that you would do with Google Classroom. We can even sort by these different criteria. So let's choose submission status. Now we can see the students that have turned in the work versus students that have been graded versus students who have had the work assigned to them but haven't finished their work yet. So if we take a look at Olivia's work here, we can give her feedback using things like the drawing tool, or we could even use a comment and give her some feedback here. Hey, Olivia, great job. It looks like you've really mastered the concepts that we've explored about photosynthesis. We can quickly and easily scroll over, get over here to Cameron and say, Hey, Cameron, looks like you haven't started this assignment yet. Let's get going. Don't forget, it's due by Friday. So feedback and assessment becomes very streamlined in this environment. You can see we can scroll left and right. We can also use the Zoom tool to zoom in and see things more clearly. Or we can zoom out if we want to be able to just have kind of that bird's eye view of each assignment. Lastly, if we combine our class view option with our Kami questions in Google Classroom, we get additional insights. If you look up at the top right, you'll see this insights button right here. You can see that this has been a mini formative assessment quiz based on a chapter of a book. If we come up and click on insights, you can see that Google Classroom and Kami work together to be able to give us some additional insights into student performance. This is a great way to have a kind of at a glance view of student performance and be able to tell how they're grasping concepts. So you can see that when we use Kami with Google Classroom, the possibilities are really endless. Teachers can augment student learning by giving differentiated feedback and instructions to students, and their workflow is streamlined and made easier in the process.